What's up guys, my name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video for you on fixing Discord when you're stuck with a grey screen or an infinite loading screen. I'm going to go through a couple of fixes, but basically what we'll be doing today is reinstalling Discord more than actually uninstalling it and reinstalling it, and we'll be doing a couple more checks on top of that. So be prepared to log back into your Discord account, you'll need your two-factor and your password. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and close all running Discord processes. This counts for both PTP and Discord. So you can either open up Task Manager and find Discord on the list, right-click and end task. But note that you'll have to make sure that all of them are closed, even if they're running in the background. So if you see a Discord on this list, make sure to close it. Otherwise, we can also press Start, type in CMD, right-click, run as admin, and in here we can enter task kill, one word, space forward slash capital F, space forward slash IM, both capital, discord.exe as such, and every instance of Discord will be closed instantly. Then we'll hold Windows key and press R. Inside of this new window, we'll go ahead and type in percentage app data percentage, and we'll hit enter. Then you'll see this pop up over here. Then we'll go ahead and scroll down and find Discord. If you have Discord PTB, you'll be following the next step with this folder over here as well. So we'll select Discord, we'll press delete, we'll wait for it to find all of the files, and it'll vanish as such. Then at the very top, we'll hit either the up arrow to go back one folder, or we'll click this over here to go back to app data, then we'll go into local. Same thing here, we'll scroll down, find Discord, select it, and delete it. Once we've done that, we can close out of this folder window, press start, and type in CMD once again. Right click, run as admin, and we'll type in IP config, one word, space, forward slash, flush, DNS. Then we'll close out of command prompt, and we'll click the time in the bottom right of our screen. Date and time settings. Then we'll make sure to check set time automatically. If it's already checked, simply uncheck it, and check it again just to make sure that the time is fully updated and set correctly. Then we can close out of the settings window. Then we'll head across to this link down in the description below, which is the Discord download page. We'll click download now and we'll wait for it to download. Of course, if you did this with the public test build, the PTB, you'll click this white text over here saying public test build. Either way, it's done. So I'll click on it to open it, click run and hit yes if prompted for admin. Then once it's run through and installed, It'll go ahead and download some updates as such, and then it'll prompt us to log in. And there we go, it opened up my browser automatically, picked up that I had an account connected, and it logged in automatically to it. So I didn't even need to put in my password or two-factor. Then I can head back to whatever Discord server I was on and continue with life, things are working good as they should be. Of course, if you had keybind set and the rest, you'll have to go ahead and set them again. As you can see, they were completely wiped, so I'll go ahead and set them again for me. These are all of the ones that I have by default. I can mute my microphone, mute my headphones, mute my headphones quickly if I need to, and I have the push to mute set so when I'm talking in games, it mutes in Discord. After setting up all of that, you may want to adjust some things under Windows settings, like this one over here that disables automatic startup and probably your voice and video settings as such. Once you have everything set up to where you want it to be, then you can go ahead and close out of the settings window and we're basically done. And there we go, things are back to where they used to be, and they're working just fine. Anyways, thank you all for watching, my name has been Technobay here for Troubleshoot, hopefully this video helped you, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.